Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Natalia Lee. I'm an indie author and freelance editor and this week I am celebrating the release of my new book, Pistol Daisy. Pistol Daisy comes out this coming Tuesday, June 9th. I was gonna say July for some reason, June 9th, 2020. So I'll be celebrating by hopefully posting a video every single day, just kind of trying to generate excitement leading up to the release and just uh, have a good time while doing it. So. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about how much money it cost me to get Pistol Daisy to this point, essentially how much it's costing me to self-publish Pistol Daisy. Now, if you've been here for a while, you know my previous book, Song of the Dryad, was published back in October of 2018, and I re semi-recently did a video all about how much this book cost me to publish. Song of the Dryad was quite expensive. It was definitely an investment. It was expensive. I went all out for this book and I definitely went all out for this book as well, but in slightly different ways. So if you're interested in learning, you know, more about how much I spent on Song of the Dryad, how expensive it was for me, make sure to check out the video. It'll be linked down below. Okay, I'm going to start by saying that I am in a very different place while publishing Pistol Daisy than I was when publishing Song of the Dryad. Not only do I have a bit more experience, but I'm now also a full-time editor and like I do copy editing and proofreading and content editing and all the good stuff. So I'm definitely at a different level in terms of like skill set and what I'm able to do with my own books. So also please keep that in mind kind of while we're talking about this today. So I have everything listed out on my phone. We're just gonna go one by one and I'm gonna tell you how much money this book cost me. Okay, so we are going to start with the book cover. I am in love with this book cover. You can see the spine here. <laughs> the back cover. So I had a paperback cover made and then of course I also had an ebook cover made and I also got a few little promotional materials that went along with that. I have an animated book cover which is a lot of fun. So I have the animated book cover, the paperback, the ebook. I had a bookbub advertisement made and I also had an Instagram advertisement made. So all of that cost me $283.60. If you don't already know, I used More Books Design. I highly recommend them if you are looking for a cover designer. They are efficient, highly professional, super friendly. The turnaround time is really quick, or at least it was for me like last year when I was getting these done. They might be way more busy now, so their turnaround might not be what it used to be, but I absolutely love them. I highly recommend them. So yeah, with everything that I got, it cost $283.60 and $10 of that was having the cover updated because more books finished my book cover for me and then I decided that I wanted to change the blurb and add a little bit more to it. So then that like fee for changing it up was an extra 10 bucks, but altogether $283.60 for this gorgeous book cover which I am incredibly happy with. All right, next up are ISBNs. And this book actually doesn't have an ISBN. That's just like a product number, but I did pay for ISBNs for Pistol Daisy. I have one for the paperback and then one for the ebook. And I bought my ISBNs in a package back when I was about to publish Song of the Dryad. So the entire package, I bought a pack of 10 ISBNs and that cost me $295, but because I only need two for Pistol Daisy, that's $29.50 each, which comes out to $59. With Song of the Dryad, I did a hardcover, I did a paperback and I did an ebook. So of course there is a little bit more expense there because I have an additional hardcover. And at this point, I don't plan on Pistol Daisy being a hardcover. It is such a short book. It's a really quick read and I don't think it needs to be in hardcover. So two ISBNs for Pistol Daisy, three ISBNs for Song of the Dryad. And I also want to mention with Song of the Dryad, of course I paid for the book cover, but then I also paid for the interior formatting. And with Pistol Daisy, I outsourced the cover and I paid somebody to make this for me. But Greg and I did all of the interior formatting on our own from the like headers and folios to the images that are in the book, but we did all the formatting ourselves. 
So that saved me a bit of money. I can't remember how much I paid for formatting for Song of the Dryad. Make sure to check out that video, but I did save money doing the formatting on my own. And if you are interested in formatting services, definitely come check us out at enchantingpublishing.com because we offer formatting for print and also ebook. Okay, the next thing I paid for for Song of the Dryad is an official copyright. And I could talk about this in an entire video. I've had to do research on my own about copyright and whether I really need it. And as far as I have kind of discovered, registering an actual copyright and paying to have your work copywritten is not 100% necessary. It's always a good idea and it definitely gives you an extra like layer of protection in case anything were to happen but it's not 100% necessary. I did not copyright Highborn or Way of Spears, but I did copyright Song of the Dryad and I did copyright Pistol Daisy. I actually just put through for the copyright today. You have to go to um, like the copyright office website. You have to fill out a bunch of forms and then you have to actually like upload a copy of the book. So I had to wait until the book was 100% totally, totally complete. I didn't need any more little tweaks or changes made. So I did that today and I uploaded the PDF and registering for that copyright cost me $65. So keep that in mind. Definitely something to think about when you are self publishing, look into it. Let me know in the comments down below if you wanna hear more of my thoughts on whether or not you should actually register your book and register for a copyright. Uh, so yeah, let me know if that is a uh, video you would be interested in seeing. Okay, next are proof copies. I bought a lot of proof copies of Pistol Daisy. I have one here. You can see another one back here on the shelf. I have a few versions of like this old Pistol Daisy. This is just like a book cover I made for myself. So I have some really old ones because I like to, that was fun. I put in a couple little like fun images. I like to edit on an actual paperback copy. So after I finish my first draft is usually when I will get myself a proof copy. Depending on the project, sometimes I'll get it like after the second draft if I thought the first draft was really messy. Mew? Mew is climbing all over my desk right now, being naughty as usual. Anyway, so I ordered quite a few proof copies. I think I ordered nine or 10. I should have tallied it up when I, like I went back to my um, like Amazon and Barnes and Noble press accounts today and actually tallied up like how much I spent on proofs altogether. Cause this was from Amazon. These ones without the watermark are from Barnes and Noble Press. I love that they don't have watermarks. That's why I ordered them from Barnes and Noble. Highly recommend them. Okay, so again, I don't know exactly how many proof copies I ordered. I wanna say I ordered about nine or 10 proof copies. And the cost for all of my proof copies was $91.35. And again, you might not need to order 10 proof copies. However, this book is really short. So ordering proof copies was pretty cheap, depending on like where I was ordering it from. Ordering a proof was anywhere from like $6.50 to $14 was kind of the range per proof copy to have it printed and then shipped to me. So pretty cheap, way cheaper than going and like printing your book off at like Staples or something. When I looked into that, it was gonna be like $80, $100, something like that. So if you want a proof copy, just order one off of like Barnes & Noble Press or KDP. It's really cheap and you actually get to see your book in front of you. So yeah, I ordered a ton of proof copies and it came to $91.35. Okay, moving on to the final thing that I spent money on to publish Pistol Daisy and that is the illustrations. So there are illustrations throughout Pistol Daisy. I also do plan on having illustrations in Whiskey City and that cost me, I don't have the like exact amount because I bought like a pack of images and I can't remember how much each image itself cost, but for the five images that are in Pistol Daisy, it cost approximately $100. And I do also have images in Song of the Dryad. I have five images and I wanna say that that cost me $100 too. So I think with both Song of the Dryad and Pistol Daisy, the illustrations, I have five in each and they cost me, I think, exactly the same amount of money. I think these actually may have been cheaper because I got like a whole pack of images 
In this book, I only got five. So some like some of the packs of images that I purchased for Pistol Daisy, I will be able to use some of those images for Whiskey City as well. So I'll say that the images in Pistol Daisy were cheaper because I got more of them for the same amount of money. But I will say about $100 for illustrations in Pistol Daisy. Now, with, before I like tally it all up, maybe you've been counting, but before I give you the like final, final amount of money that I spent to, to get Pistol Daisy ready for publication, I do want to mention that the most expensive aspect of publishing Song of the Dryad was paying for professional copy editing. And I do not regret it. I 100% stand by my decision to get professional copy editing. Copy editing takes a book from amateur to professional. Like I 100% believe that. I 100% stand behind my decision to have this professionally edited, but this is a big book and I went with um, definitely a more expensive editor. I was paying 0.015 dollars per word. That's kind of, some editors will go by our, most editors, myself included, and the editors that I have worked with in the past charge per word. So it was dollar sign, 0 0.015 per word for Song of the Dryad. And this is about 100,000 words. So I paid $1,500 in editing for Song of the Dryad. So that's really where the bulk of the expenses came from for this book was in editing but I don't regret it at all. I'm incredibly happy that I did that because Song of the Dryad is squeaky clean and I'm really, really proud of it. Now, with Pistol Daisy, I did not pay a separate editor. I, like I said, like I say in every video, am a copy editor, I am a proofreader. So I wanted to save a little bit of money and I decided to edit Pistol Daisy on my own. But I will caution you, if you are not an editor, if you are not an editor and super confident in your skills and what you can do, I do not recommend that you copy edit your book on your own. Mew is scratching her head on my tripod if you saw that little wiggle. So with Pistol Daisy, I decided, you know, I'm just going to copy edit this on my own. I am going to proofread it on my own, which is another reason why I have so many proof copies because proofreading needs to be done once your book is laid out for print. And I am super happy with how this turned out. I am like very confident in my skills and I'm happy that I edited this on my own. But back when I was writing Song of the Dryad, I did not have the skills that I have today. So with this book, I did, I was not super confident in my copy editing skills, but after having paid that much money to have my book edited, I started taking classes. I've taken proofreading classes, copy editing classes, developmental editing classes, um, classes on how to edit blurbs, synopses, query letters, etc. And through all of that and through working with so many clients, I am super confident in my skills. So I thankfully was able to edit and proofread Pistol Daisy all on my own. Now, if I were to have paid somebody to copy edit this, Depending on their price, I'd say that this would probably have cost about $400 to $600 to have copy edited, just depending on the price of the copy editor I would have gone with. So do kind of keep that in mind. This book is about 40,000 words, so that's why I'm saying about $400 if you're going with an editor who charges 0 0.01 per word, which is honestly a bit low for copy editing. I would say that you're going to be looking more at like 0.012 to 0.015. I've even seen some copy editors charging 0.02 per word for copy editing. So yeah, that's definitely an expense that I did not have to pay for with Pistol Daisy. Please do keep editing expenses in mind when you're kind of laying out a budget for your book and you're planning ahead because I would not, under most circumstances, recommend editing your book on your own unless you are already a copy editor. Okay, so with that being said, I am going to tell you exactly how much I spent to get Pistol Daisy to where it is now. Okay, so in total, for Pistol Daisy, including the book cover, ISBNs, registering the copyright, bunch of proof copies, and the illustrations on the inside, I paid $598.95. We could bump it up and just say it cost me about 
$600 to get this book to where it is now. Mew. So I am really comfortable with the amount of money I spent on Pistol Daisy. Again, $598.95. And that was, you know, spread out over time. It's not like I just got hit with that all at once. But again, this would have been more expensive, potentially even, you know, close to twice as expensive if I had hired a copy editor and hired a formatter, which again, I do highly recommend if you yourself are not a copy editor or a formatter. Thankfully, I do have those skills, so I was able to save money on this book. Also keep in mind, it is a much shorter book than Song of the Dryad. So Song of the Dryad cost me a lot more, a lot, a lot more than Pistol Daisy. And one of the reasons I'm excited about that, again, I do not regret spending as much money as I did on this book because this book was my first step into, I feel really treating my work the way that I wanted it to be treated. I really took like a professional approach to publishing Song of the Dryad and I'm really happy with how all of that turned out, but it was expensive. And you might wanna think about like return on investment. How much are you going to charge people for each book? You know, what are your royalty rates going to be, etc. And with Pistol Daisy, I feel much more confident knowing that I should be able to make all of the money back that I spent on this book. Because again, I only spent about $600, whereas Song of the Dryad, I'm not gonna tell you how much I spent. You're gonna have to go watch that other video, but it was so expensive that it's much more difficult to make that money back in book sales and then not only to make that money back but then to make more money on top of it in order to actually like make some income off of your books. So $598.95 for Pistol Daisy and I already went through all the things that I paid for. So if you have any questions about anything that I talked about today, you know, from ISBNs to copyright registration, formatting, editing, book covers, anything like that, please feel free to leave them in the comments down below. And again, Pistol Daisy comes out on Tuesday, June 9th. It will be here in less than a week, you guys. I am pretty excited about it, but I'm also like pretty frazzled right now because I'm doing so much editing that editing is really like taking my focus. It's where my brain power mostly needs to be. So I'm really glad that I was able to take the time today to sit down to talk about Pistol Daisy. But yeah, that is how much I spent to get Pistol Daisy in front of you guys. So again, if you have any questions or suggestions, you can leave them in the comments down below and I will be seeing you guys tomorrow for another video. So I hope you guys are all doing well, keep writing, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.